don't really think too much about walking on a day-to-day -day basis, but for some people, walking is pretty difficult, even painful. Atlanta News First reporter Joshua Skinner got an exclusive look at an exoskeleton. That's a piece of equipment that Georgia Tech scientists hope could one day help people walk. The words manufacturing research building might sound kind of boring on the outside, but once you get inside buildings like this one at Georgia Tech, there's the potential to improve even the most basic aspects of everyday life. It sounds a bit like science fiction, but it's actually the cutting edge of what could be possible. So this is the Epic and Power Lab at Georgia Tech. Kinsey Heron has been working here for years. The ultimate mission is to try to improve walking gates in kids that have walking impairments stemming from an issue at the knee. That's where Sebastian comes in. From the beginning, Sebastian has been with us. And today he's wearing a robot machine, I guess that's how I want to put it. Sebastian had a brain tumor when he was a uh, year and a half. Why do you have more one of the you know, secondary effects of the brain tumor was weakness on the left side. This device, called the exoskeleton, records Sebastian's movements and works to retrain them in a way that's better for his legs. His knee kicks back slightly when he walks. The project is a collaboration with Children's Healthcare of Atlanta. Sebastian's movements here help scientists learn what works and what doesn't. It feels good. Um, I think it's a little easier. And although practical use is still years away, the science is now many steps closer to walking a straight path. Take this technology, move it out of the lab. At Georgia Tech, Joshua Skinner, Atlanta News First.